The Faith I Live By, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Melody in the Heart. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Ephesians 5, 19. The melody of praise is the atmosphere of heaven. And when heaven comes in touch with the earth, there is music and song. Above the new created earth, as it lay fair and unblemished, under the smile of God, the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of God shouted for joy. So human hearts in sympathy with heaven have responded to God's goodness in notes of praise. Young men and women have a keen ear for music, and Satan knows what organs to excite, to animate, engross, and charm the mind so that Christ is not desired. Frivolous songs out of the popular sheet music of the day seem congenial to their taste. The instruments of music have taken time which should have been devoted to prayer. Music when not abused is a great blessing, but when put to a wrong use, it is a terrible curse. It excites, but does not impart that strength and courage which the Christian can find only at the throne of grace. Satan is leading the young captive. He is a skillful charmer, luring them on to perdition. Musical entertainments, which if conducted properly, will do no harm, are often a source of evil. Musical talent too often fosters pride and ambition for display and singers have but little thought of the worship of God. Let all take time to cultivate the voice so that God's praise can be sung in clear, soft tones. The ability to sing is the gift of God. Let it be used to his glory. Let us remember that our praises are supplemented by the choirs of the angelic hosts above. Those who in heaven join with the angelic choir in their anthem of praise, must learn on earth the song of heaven, the keynote of which is thanksgiving. <laughs>